This is the Alpha Equipped Carbon Fiber Snorkel and it is, as near as makes no difference, $1,000. But is it worth it? I'll answer that after the install. So the first step is to remove the stock air box. Using painter's tape, mask off the fender where the snorkel is going. Fender is masked off, put the template in place, and tape it in place. Make sure you measure that against the snorkel just to make sure all the holes line up. I had to adjust mine a little bit. Once that's in place, use a hole punch and then a pilot screw to get the hole started, and then you'll step up to the real bit. This kit has a three and a half inch uh, hole saw that you need to build the bigger hole. Before the snorkel itself goes on, use the two-sided tape that is provided in the kit. So as I've heard, the fender liner is the worst part about this. So what we've done, because it doesn't get any better, the further down, here we go. So we just popped it down We'll pop it back in place when we're done. So this is kind of the best it's gonna be. For me, this took a lot of adjusting to get the holes just right because I still had issues with the template. So there was a lot of expanding the holes to make it fit. You're gonna to wanna to paint the fender or any exposed metal uh, after you're done drilling the holes. I also use silicone on the holes because they were so much bigger than the actual bolts themselves. Then it's time to put in the tube that goes in the fender to your stock air box, replace the air box, and you are good to go. So, is this worth the price tag? Honestly, it's a hard question to answer. Functionally, most snorkels are all the same. What you really, what's the deciding factor for you is the look that you're going for. For me personally, I didn't want the big bulky look that you get um, from other snorkels, which is why I went with Alpha Equipped. Um, Despite the fact that I personally don't like the carbon fiber, I'd much rather it be in a matte black plastic. Um, so I didn't like that I had to pay a premium for that. A little annoying, but they're the only ones on the market this low profile. So for what I wanted aesthetically, this was the only one that, that kind of fit that for me. However, if I were to buy a snorkel again, I honestly don't think Knowing what I know now, I could buy this particular snorkel again. It's $915 plus shipping, and for that price, I would expect way more. Um, there are fitment issues on the A-pillar. There's gaps on the A-pillar. There's gaps on the fender. Um, the bolts aren't long enough, so I actually had to file down um, the tube that goes from the fender to the air box. Um, so right here, those bolts aren't long enough to actually attach the inner tube to it. And then the tube itself, 
um, when you when you put it onto the air box, the angle's off, or it's too long, or whatever the case may be. However, they did it. It there's three bolts that hold down the factory air box. Only two were able to go back in because that tube pushed the air box so out of alignment, I couldn't get all three bolts back in. So. For essentially a thousand dollar snorkel, keep in mind snorkels are typically four to five hundred dollars. I would expect to not have fitment issues. I would expect all the gaps to be closed up, and I would definitely expect all of the OEM factory equipment that this says will bolt right to it will bolt right to it and be just as it was from the factory. So, kind of two part. I love the look of it now that it's on the truck, minus the carbon fiber. Uh, it works great, it functions just fine, it, perfectly as it was intended, um, but the fitment is terrible. Like I, I truly can't understand how, um, how they put this product out with the price tag that it has. It's mind boggling to me. So it's a tough call. If you buy this, know that there's gonna be a lot of adapt adaptation that you need to do to make it fit for your vehicle. The template is kind of garbage, so you wanna put it on the snorkel itself, make sure everything lines up. Um, and even then, once you get to the fender side of things, you're probably gonna have to widen the holes a bit more um, to actually make it fit. So there's gonna be a lot of adjustments that you need to do if you're okay with that and you really want this look specifically then it's probably worth a thousand dollars for you however if you just want a snorkel to work you're not too concerned about the bulkiness of it definitely look elsewhere because this is not worth your money i hope this is helpful um i really didn't want to i, I expected way more from alpha and i'm really bummed that this is how this review is going but um, I think I expect better from them all right guys until the next video I hope you're able to get off the grid and off the grind and I'll see you in the next one